Okay, we're still in the Museum of Flight here in Seattle, Washington. And as you can see, there are some school children out here. Right now they're having their lunch. They have also come to see all the wonders of the airplanes and the space and um, learn about aircrafts and all those things here. And as per um, told by Ted, they have 130,000 students and college students that come here every year to visit and learn about the aircrafts out here in the Flight Museum. All right, you're watching On The Spot with me, Sharon Sharpa, on YT Mall Television. We're still in the Flight Museum. And since we've seen all these aircrafts that were used in the military and uh, during the World War II, I happened to meet a fine gentleman out here. What was your name, sir? My name is Joe. Okay. Welcome, Joe, on the show. And do you work for the U.S. Air Force? Uh, yes, I do. I guess I can see that because <laughs> your uniform shows it. What brings you to the Flight Museum? Uh, we are here today on a tour. Uh -huh. uh, we had our own guided tour and just checking out the museum for the first time. Okay. Uh, what fascinates you more? Oh, uh, the history, just where, uh, you know, Boeing came from, mm -hmm. um, as far as it's transported with the, the mail and the building of the aircraft and so forth. It's, it's really interesting. Right. I, myself, it's my first time out here. Do you, do you think there's any fighter planes here? Oh, yes, there are. Do you like action? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so have you checked out those planes already? Uh, not yet. We just started. All right. I'll go check it out too. Well, you enjoy your visit out here in the Flight Museum. Thank you very much, Joe. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. All right, we're still with Ted here in the Museum of Flight. He is explaining and guiding us throughout this big museum, the largest air and space museum in the world. Okay, Ted, where are we standing in front of right now? Behind us is the Boeing Model 80A. Uh -huh. It is an airliner from the late 1920s, maybe up until the early 1930s. Wow. At the time, it was a luxury airplane. Uh -huh. And luxury meant that it had hot and cold running water in a lavatory. Wow. It had a heated cabin. Right. So things that we take for granted were something very special back then. Uh -huh. And if you look inside, you can see it, it looks more like somebody's living room than anything else. Right. Not like an airplane. Cozy. That, yeah. Right. right. <laughs> and what's interesting also about this plane is that these sort of planes, these were the first ones to carry flight attendants in the United States. Oh. In okay. 1930, wow. there was a woman who, her name is Ellen Church, she came up to Boeing Air Transport and said she wanted to be a pilot. Uh -huh. Well, they wouldn't let her be a pilot, mainly because she was a woman. But she wanted to fly. Okay. She was also a nurse. Wow, yeah. So they said, if you can come along on these flights and attend to the people, because normally the co-pilot would do something like that. Mm -hmm. So that was really the beginning of flight attendants in the United States. There was a small group of them that started out doing this, and they are recognized as the first in this country. Mm -hmm. and, wow. and what they, for quite a while, up until the early 1940s, all the flight attendants in this country had to be nurses. Yes, I read about that. Uh -huh. That's interesting. Do you think because you were up in the space and you might need medical help any moment and no doctors around? I think it was more of a comforting factor comforting. Okay. because the planes flew close to the ground. Right. It could be bumpy, turbulent. Yeah. Some people might be scared. Right. So it was something that I think people felt better about. Mm -hmm. They were on board with someone that could take care of them mm -hmm. and in case something happened. But mainly just, you know, we all like nurses. Yeah. We all like to be right. taken care of. Right. That is one interesting fact that during those times, um, flight attendants had to be nurses. Well, it's always good to know medical facts and uh, be a big help to the passengers who need some caring on the plane, mm -hmm. isn't it? It is. All right. You're still watching On The Spot with me, Sharon. All right, as you can see, the camera is showing these airplanes. So, Ted, you were saying the number four cute little plane, was it in a movie? For the GB. This was made for the movie The Rocketeer. Oh, wow. It was made for the movie? Exactly. It's a replica of a racing plane, a very famous type of racing plane that uh -huh. was flown back in the 1930s. It's really cute. 